Hi, welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. This is Dr. O'Connor, and here we're asked to calculate Kp for the following equilibria. So recall that Kp is the equilibrium constant based on pressures, and Kc is the equilibrium constant based on concentrations. So sometimes we have to convert between Kp and Kc. So in order to do that, we of course need Kc, which we have here, and we need to multiply the equilibrium constant by R, the gas constant, and the temperature in Kelvin, and then this exponent here, delta N, would be the number of moles of gas products minus the number of moles of gas reactants. So let's go ahead and calculate that now. So first, let's calculate delta N. And we have one mole of water vapor and one mole of carbon dioxide gas for a total of two moles in the products. And in the reactants, we have one mole of hydrogen and one mole of carbon dioxide. So that would be two moles in the reactants. So delta N would be zero. Well, I think I can stop right here because watch what happens. Kp is equal to Kc, so at 0 0.77, and then we'll multiply that by the gas constant, 0 0.0821 liters per atmosphere per mole per Kelvin. I always like to put my units in. Um, that way I can see them cancel. And if there's a problem, my units aren't going to cancel properly. So the temperature is 747 degrees Celsius. So that is the same as 1,020 Kelvins. And then delta N is zero as the exponent. But remember, anything to the zero power is equal to one. So in this case here, Kp is equal to 0 0.77 or equal to Kc. I didn't even need to do the calculation in this case because when I have an equal number of moles of product gas and reactant gas, then delta N is zero. So anytime delta N is zero, then Kp and Kc are going to be equal. So let's take a look at this next problem here. And now we're asked to calculate Kc for the following equilibria. So we're given Kp, and this is at 727 degrees Celsius. So what we'll do is use the above equation, and we'll just rearrange it. So we had Kp is equal to Kc times RT to the delta N power. So let's just go ahead and rearrange this to solve for Kc. So Kc, in this case, is going to be equal to Kp divided by the quantity RT to the delta N power. So let's see what we have here. In this case, delta N, we have one mole of product gas, and then we have one two moles of reactants, so minus two moles, and that's going to give us a negative one. So let's see, we need to convert our temperature to Kelvin, and that's going to be equal to 727 degrees Celsius plus 273, that's going to be 1000 Kelvin. So I think we're all set to go then. So we have Kc is equal to Kp, which is 3.9 times 10 to the negative 2. And we'll divide that by R, 0 0.0821 liters times atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And multiply that by the temperature, which is 1,000 Kelvin. And that is all to the negative 1 power. So let's go ahead 
and do that calculation. And we get Kc equal to 3.2. Now I have one more problem. Here we're asked to calculate Kc for the following equilibria. Again, this is one of those problems where the number of moles of reactant gas and product gas are equal. So that means delta N is zero. So Kp is going to be equal to Kc. And in this case, it is 49.